And then last night I got high and I opened them and I started eating them and I was just like eating um, handfuls of sprinkles. Hi, welcome to Angel's Anything Show. And tonight I'm gonna show you how to make chocolate covered pretzels that get you high. That's right folks. We're in the thick of fall. It is a rainy, cold, dreary day, and I'm about three hours away from starting my period, so we need some chocolate. Now, Dan, what are you doing back there? Quite on the set. <laughs> the main reason that we are filming this video today when the lighting is not that good is because uh, I have these pretzels in the house, and I don't know if you guys knew this, but pretzels are my favorite snack. I know it's weird, I just love them. There's something like so dry about them that just makes you wanna like drink a seltzer or like a soda and eat a pretzel. Actually, I think I got obsessed with pretzels when I was like a little fat girl and um, I was trying to diet or like eat more healthy and so I stopped eating chips and I started eating pretzels. And, are you trying to walk back there? Are they healthier? Who knows, probably not. Maybe some less fat, but at the end of the day, the carbs are carbs. Anyway, I have basically eaten this, almost this entire bag of rods, pretzel rods. So I was like, fuck, I need to make this video before I, I eat all of these pretzels. We're gonna do pretzel rods, and we're also gonna do the classic uh, mini pretzels, you know, the ones that you know and love. I, I got salted, because sweet and salty, and then I also got some sprinkles, because I thought that would be kind of fun. And then last night I got high and I opened them and I started eating them and I was just like eating um, handfuls of sprinkles. Anyway, it was really, mm. it's good. It's like, you'd be surprised how this kind of quenches your thirst for ice cream. <laughs> and I got three chocolate bars, but then as I was setting this video up, I ate almost a whole chocolate bar. So we're just gonna put the rest of that in here. So we'll say this is like three servings of chocolate. I don't know, it's a lot, but I'm gonna put in I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of can of butter, I think, and so that means it'll be about 11, mil 11 milligrams per pretzel. So they're good because you can snack on a few and you won't like get, like, the R word, Ed. <laughs> Retarded! I have my Ninja cooker, which I have on the stovetop setting. I have a little bit of water in here, so I'm gonna let the water heat up and then I'm gonna put the mason jar in here and let the chocolate slowly melt and then I'll take it out or maybe I'll leave it in and I will use my tongs to dunk and the rods I can just dunk. Mmm, chocolate's so good. Like, I always am like, oh, I don't, I don't care that much about chocolate. Until you have it. Now we have our magical butter. You know I don't like measure, but this is about a tablespoon, right? So we'll do one. Smells. <laughs> All right, and now we'll just place, and we'll be back once it's melted. Namaste. Okay, after much ado, we're back, and we're ready. So I found a shot glass to put the chocolate into to make the dunking easier, especially for the pretzel rods. I tested it out. It seems like we're at a good consistency, so we're gonna dunk it. And then sprinkle, which is a little challenging. You might want to get smaller sprinkles. Are sprinkles the glitter of the candy world? Comment below. All right, let's try some of these little guys again. Let's try it. Mm, doesn't fit, so we'll go into this one. And that you can just fully immerse. And then you could also like do a drizzle if you didn't want to do the whole thing. Or you could melt white chocolate. Or if you don't want like dairy, you could do dark chocolate or like no, you know, milk chocolate. Then you could dunk it again, like uh, dipping a candle or something. That might be the trick actually. So that's basically the gist. I'm gonna do a bunch of these and put some sprinkles on them and then let them sit out and harden for, I don't know, however long. You can also put them in the fridge. Maybe I'll do that so that it's faster. And then I will be back with a taste test. So I'm really pleased with how they came out. Just starting to melt a little. Coconut oil always makes things melt faster, so be aware you need to leave these in the freezer or the fridge because they do get melty. Anyway, they came out great. I think the sprinkles were a great touch. And I'm gonna try a little bit for all you guys. Mmm. 
I mean, chocolate covered pretzels, you cannot go wrong. It's a classic sweet and savory combination. If you want the chocolate to be a little bit thicker, you could dip them, let them dry, dip them again, let them dry, dip them again. It would take longer, but if you want to do it, you should do it. And then, you know, these came out really good too. Just these um, regular pretzels. Those came out good too. All right, well, that's it for this episode of Angel's Anything Show. Super easy recipe idea. And, you know, take this idea and run with it. Let me know what you come up with. Thank you for watching this episode. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Also, my dad's name is Rod, so it's like I'm eating my dad, which sounds kind of weird. You got a Rod, Rod? No? Dan's in the audience. He's looking at me.